Hello, I'm David Matthews with this week's Spotlight on the News from RevTech Ventures. You remember the first iteration of QR codes? Their adoption was slow and painful. You had to download a QR code reader. Then you pointed your camera at the QR code and it usually took you to a website that was formatted for desktop. So you couldn't even make out any of the tiny print and you probably just abandoned the mission. Then came the pandemic and all of a sudden, you had to scan a QR code just to eat. That's QR code 2.0, mission critical, where QR code 1.0 was just a bother. I think it's the same thing today with chatbots. The first iterations over the past several years existed as that dreaded icon on your favorite e-commerce websites. And you knew they weren't there to serve you, but instead were there to help the merchant automate at your expense. Hello, chatbot. I'd like to return this shirt I just received from you. Got it. Let me connect you with sales to find some pants to match that shirt. No, I want to return the shirt. Got it. You want to purchase a belt to go with that shirt and your new pants. Come on, haven't you all had this experience? I have. That was Chatbot 1.0. Now enter the era of Chatbot 2.0. According to an article in Retail Brew, the scripted bots of just a few years ago are out, and there's a new robot in town. These new bots are a branch of AI called Natural Language Processing, or NLP, and they're much more capable of pulling off a natural conversation. Perhaps you've recently taken a look at ChatGPT. Essentially, GPT-3 has made it easier for retailers to build virtual assistants, doing everything from making recommendations and checking inventory to order tracking and setting up curbside pickup. I think back when digital overtook analog in film, then music, then movies, then virtually all media, we counted it as progress. Now, with digital overtaking analog in conversation and customer service, it somehow feels like we're being sucked into the machine. So I'll see you in the metaverse.